Hey Total Gym Team, JD here, Total Gym Master Trainer. All right, let's get right into workout number one, which is gonna be your chest, shoulders, and triceps. But what I really wanna emphasize is proper intensity. So when we're trying to wake up those muscles and get that furnace burning, to burn those calories, we wanna use proper intensity. That is the most important part. And as I said in the written blog, what I want you to do on every exercise is achieve fatigue with good form right around eight repetitions, seven, eight, nine or so. And as we go through the workouts, I'm gonna demonstrate. But that intensity is by far the most important, again, to wake up those muscles and start burning calories. The first exercise is gonna be a simple seated forward chest press. If you have these cards here with your total gym, it uh, is on one of those. So what I'm gonna do, um, this is, these are pretty big muscles, so I've positioned the, the total gym, the fit, on the top third. Okay, and when I have a seat, I want to make sure that the cable's underneath my arms. I'm going to go ahead and put my legs up, or you can have your legs down. And here's the exercise. Now, a quick tip on breathing. Every time the glide board is going up towards the tower, it's an exhale or as I like to say, exhale on the exertion, which is when you're going up the tower against gravity. So here's the deal. You have good form. What you're gonna actually do is choose a level of resistance, how high this is on the, on the tower. So that right around, let's just pretend this is like number six. I'm starting to feel heightened awareness in my chest. Seven, oof. I'm starting to make a little funny faces, and eight. That's the last one I can do with good form. Now, after you take that muscle to fatigue right around eight, you have to rest, right? You've taken the muscle to fatigue, so I'd like you to do some sort of chest stretch, and I like this one. Now, here's the deal. You work out this, this proper intensity to build muscle and burn calories. You're going to be a little bit sore the next day. And what I want you to do if you're a little bit sore the next day is smile. It's telling me that your body's alive and what's actually happening is those muscles are being stressed to the point where they break down, but guess what happens? When they build back together, they build back um, stronger and require more calories to keep them alive. Okay, let's go on to chest exercise number two. Chest exercise number two is gonna be a single arm incline chest fly. So using a single arm, I've taken the, the, the total gym down to about the mid-level, okay? But you know the rule, right? That rule of eight is going to tell you exactly where you need to be. I'm just going to let my legs float up. And I'm going to grab the back handle. So I advocate you grab the back handle. The arm is slightly bent. And then I'm actually going to put my hand here for a little tactile feedback. And then come up towards the corner of the ceiling. So I can really feel that chest muscle work. And I'm gonna say this a lot, but once again, I'm gonna choose a level on the tower where right around eight repetitions, I start to feel that heightened awareness and that's the perfect part of fatigue. And then what do you do afterwards? Just give yourself a nice little stretch. So now I'm going to do an overhead shoulder press. This time I want to ensure that the cables are on top of my arm. And again, about in the mid-level, but you know the rule of eight. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is sit up nice and tall. So, and I'm just going to go overhead. So I really can't see the handles in my peripheral vision. And I'm going over my head so the cables aren't really touching my arms. And what I love about the total gym is just holding my torso in that position. I'm getting a great core workout while I'm working the shoulders. Okay, on to shoulder exercise number two. Second shoulder exercise is the invert, inverted iron cross or snow angel. So now I'm working more smaller muscles in the shoulder, so I'm actually going to take the level down a little bit. I'm going to have start with my buttocks at the end, so when I lie back, my head is fully supported. And again, arms are slightly bent. <sighs> Exhale as the glide board goes up towards the tower. <sighs> and then once again, I'm choosing the level where you fatigue around eight. 
and make sure that this is this is talking about there's no pain what whatsoever going on if you're experiencing any pain or if you have any injuries this rule goes right out the window so fatigue around eight repetitions but with good form and zero pain all right let's move on to the triceps this is just a lying tricep extension and um, you're, you're fully supported on the glide board so you can you can go a little heavier on this one all right so I'm about in the middle of the tower and it's simply keep your elbows right next to your rib cage, glue them there. Now take a look at my wrist. You just want to make sure the wrists stay neutral, like you have a cast on your wrist, because what the tension wants to do is do that. So just maintain a neutral wrist. And that is tricep exercise number one. Second tricep exercise, this is an overhead tricep extension. Now this is another one where you're gonna get a great core workout, all right? So, arms start overhead. Once again, that tension's trying to pull me back, so I'm using, forced to use my core, and the exercise is simply bend behind the head and come up. You see my upper arm stays right next to my ears, so glue them right there. And I took this down to the lowest level, but once again, that rule of eight will always tell you where to go. Now, here's the deal. Please do not misconstrue that rule that you put it on any old level, count to eight and stop. No, 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 no. You use the, the resistance level to dictate how hard you're working because right around eight repetitions, I want you to hit fatigue. Now, if you miss guess on the first few sets or whatever, I want you to always go till you hit fatigue but hey, let's say you get to 15 before you hit fatigue, then you know for the next set you can bump it up a couple notches. Make sense? Okay, the last piece in this vlog is cardio interval training. Now let's really stoke that furnace and burn some calories. It is as simple as this. Do about a five minute warm up, okay? And then what I want you to do is, let's keep it simple. For let's say about 30 seconds, I watch the clock and when it gets to, let's say, the five minute mark, I go really, really fast and really exert a lot of energy for 30 seconds to the point at the end of the 30 seconds, I'm out of breath and then I simply recover. If you're just starting out, you can start with like a three to one ratio, which means if, you, if you're doing interval for 30 seconds, you would recover for 90 seconds. And then as you get in better shape, that ratio will change. So maybe a little bit down the road, you'll be doing an interval for 30 seconds, recovering for 60, so like a two to one ratio. So experts tell us that that really sparks your metabolism. It's actually better conditioning for your heart. All the good stuff that happens in your brain happens more readily when you do interval training. And again, you're really gonna torch about twice as many calories than if you're doing cardio and when your heart rate's at a steady rate. So hit me up if you have any questions on that and stay tuned for week number two.